New Channel 5 video. Ask me what we're doing. What are we doing? We're I have... So I, when I say someone is a Hassan Abi head, I mean it. Yeah, Olivia Rodrigo was a Hassan Abi head. We're here in Sacramento, California at the World's Strongest Man contest. We're going to talk to some strong guys, figure out how much they can lift, what makes them so strong, and hopefully meet and uh, develop a relationship with the world's strongest man. Fucking world's strongest man, baby, let's go! Woo! Are you pre-gaming right now? Pre-gaming? No, I'm gaming, gaming, man. Pre-game was at like 7 a.m. Yeah. Uh, Are you like an alcoholic? Nah, you could say that. Functional though, I have a job, I got my shit together. World's Strongest Man 2022. If you look at the fellas, like, they're really like... Big. My man say functional alcoholic. Like, that's supposed to be a, a saving grace in this situation. Love that. Big. They look a bit like chubby, but I know for like... They're not actually chubby, they're just hella fucking strong. Most ladies like that man is strong. Because the most important from ladies, what they tell, that man should be strong. Yes, yes, yes. Would you describe yourself as strong? I mean, I'm probably stronger than 99.9% .9 of the population, but I'm not as strong as I once was. I actually went... Oh my god, he's not as strong as he once was. That's right. He is stronger than 99% of the population. Look at those fucking biceps, yeah. Through a four month period where four steaks a day, four ribeye steaks a day every day. Any veggies on the side? Yeah, I'd have some veg, some potatoes. Some veg? Dude, I would not be able to make a British accent around this man, okay? Like that. This is one guy who I would be careful doing a British accent around, okay? I feel like he would not like that. And if he didn't like it, he could beat my ass. Can you lift up a car? Yeah, yeah, no problem. I mean, you know, obviously you see the guys earlier, they were picking up the car and running with it. Yeah, we've done that. World's Strongest Man, 2022. California State Capital, Sacramento, California. He's Aussie, not Brit, mate. Well, are you sure about that? He was the world's strongest man in in Britain. He is. He sounds Aussie, but I don't know. What's up, dude? You, you pretty strong? You want to be strong one day? Maybe. Same here. That's nice. Yeah, sure. What's that, What's going on? Oh, because it's so hot out? Should we just take some? Just take some? All right, yeah. What should I do with the ice? It's melting really fast. Keep me cool. Keep me cool. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. It's so hot out here. I'm really happy that freaking friendly lady came by. Give the kid an ice cube. Here, catch the ice. Good job. Good job. Thanks, man. Uh, what were you saying? Uh, so before y'all got here, um. Someone like farted? That shit stank, bro. That was like rotten eggs in my. Bro, that's so funny. Like little kid. Every little kid is like this now. It's just like TikTok. Yo, on God, that shit stank. On God, it's like, bro, you're twelve, okay? You're twelve and you live in Sacramento. Dog shit at the same. You know he's an Aiden viewer. Time. Oh no, I had to go to the bathroom. The bathroom smell. The bathroom smelled better than that shit. I swear. But yeah. So was it was it a strong man that farted or what? I think it was one of them. I don't know. All right. Uh, what can you tell me about this event? Um. The event is nice. Yeah, it's nice. And um, I don't know how the hell they're that tall, but I think because they eat their veggies, and that's how you get very tall. Hell yeah. He's like, I did it. I said a good point right there. He's like, I repeated something what my mom said. We'll fucking see about that. Kind of fit, kind of fat.
Can you tell us who you are and what your position is at the world's strongest man? My name is Colin Bryce, and I am the tournament director. Mm -hmm. So it's my job to... Dude, why does every person involved in, like, strongman competitions look this way, though? Like, they all look like video game characters, bro. What's up? Like, their faces have, like, warped. I don't know why. What the fuck? PEDs? Do they, do they abuse a lot of PEDs at these things? I Probably, I assume, but... I thought maybe they they got like testing for that, right? Or they don't? Oversee fair play and organize the tournament, pick the events uh, with a group of people. World's strongest man competition starts in downtown Sacramento today. These athletes from all over the world, 30 of them compete to be the world's strongest man. What do you think of that? I'm thinking you're looking in shape. Oh, I don't put one man down. Yeah. <laughs> so, like a smorgasbord of heavy stuff, isn't it? This is uh, you know, stones, anvils. This is our loading event. I call it a pain cave, but okay. <laughs> and it will be. Yeah. So what makes a good strongman? A series of a battery of tests. A bit like a decathlon. You need to have great lower back and leg strength, shoulder power, overhead pressing power. This is, uh, Someone said they, they test for minimum amounts. <laughs> There's a floor. If you're not doing PEDs, they don't allow you to compete. The Flintstone lift, excuse me, I've been drinking too many drinks. And uh, this, the massive heavy fridge carry thing. So, you know, this events like that, we just go around, we pick them, we decide, we try and get a smorgasbord of events that will yeah. find our champion. What are we, where are we at right now? So we're just chilling at the pool. You'll see a lot of guys wearing not that much. We're just chilling out the bill. Dude, his, his voice, bro, his fucking throat is on PEDs, man. He sounds like he's got a voice filter on. Well, so, uh, we're fucking uh, chilling out the pool. <laughs> it's cold. Um, a little bit sweaty. Um, so we do, I'm just going to jump in the cold tub to snow. Oh, yeah. If you could, if you had a time machine and you could travel to any historical period, where would you go? Oh, jeez. Like, so I'm from Scotland, so I'd like to go back to... Oh, this guy, this guy. He's, uh... Would you mind if I join you? Double, double strongman ice bath. Like, you watch yourself, you'll make it a bit wet. Oh, this is nice. Um, uh, How does it feel in there? Do you know the worst thing about this cold? It, it makes me piss and hard at the same time. Is he actually a... Uh, ah! I can feel it in my gooch. Like, the way his penis is directed, it's directing... Up my. Watch this. Oh, there it is. L look at this. And look, no hands. <laughs> oh, can, <you> <laughs> can you feel it in your butt? Unfortunately, I can't. So can I. This is, this is so nice. See, when you asked me the question about the time machine. <laughs> They're so wonderful, dude. That's so fun. Just bros being bros from all around the world. What do you mean? They're in an ice pool. <laughs> my brother's friend's girlfriend sent news to channel five and they broke up over it that's pretty fun wait what the fuck wait that is funny but also kind of fucked up why is she doing that i i, I wish i could go to a time machine right now and tell myself not to come down to the ice tub for another hour oh. he did it. Oh, wow, he's like so much sex in here right now the time machine question. Oh, Back to it. Oh, if yeah, if sorry, you no, it was, a, it was a perfect interruption. Yeah. It really spiced things up. Can I just say, I like your hair. Thank you, man. I like your beard and tribal tattoos. Thank you. Good. That was fun. I love interviews. Interviews are my favorite. What makes you different from other strongmen? I've been told I'm weird. I don't know where to get that idea from. What do you think of me now? Back home, I'm <clears throat> like a 12 out of a 10. Where are you from? Ireland. I <laughs> oh, ethnically. My last name is Callahan. Oh, Callahan. So, technically, you're Irish. So, you'd be good at playing this game, Dick or G. What? Okay. Dick or G? Jeep. You tell him. Okay, am I looking at Jeep? <laughs> you're telling them. No, no. I don't know how you're doing this magic. Are you a wizard? Yeah. 
<laughs> Dick. <laughs> children in, in the pool area pa. I, 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 I don't want to be on camera. <laughs> you saying something? Mitch. That's Mitch, the press coordinator. <laughs> yeah, there, there, there is some kids in there. There's, there's some kids, Mitch, you're right. Hey kids, you want to see a picture of a Jeep? You have another game? Yeah, but we need either a banana or a straw. It's called Deep Throat. Fucking world's strongest man, baby, let's go! Big dudes, big weights, and they fucking whiff them. What does it mean to be a strong man? It depends on what you're- Dude, I fucking love- I love big dudes, man. The best. Such fun. Such- so much fun, dude. Just- just having fucking- having fun. The life situation is, are you a father, a husband? Are you a single individual looking to just best your weights? Let's take a single dad, for example, who cares for two children. He takes care of them at night, who has to work during the day, possibly he's going to school somehow in that mix just to further his life and his family. That's a strong man. That's a pretty good summation of it. Strong man is a man who has an iron will, is determined, is drive, and ambition. Get it done. It's oh, about yeah. the men who are willing to do the work. Discipline trumps motivation. Different question. If you guys had a time machine, where, what would you do? I would go see Thomas Jefferson. He's a man to look up to in my eyes. Uh, so I, I would love to go back there and uh, what? be with him. Teddy Roosevelt. Just say what's up to him. His era that he lived in, that's when men were men. The uh, emasculation of the modern male in this current society we live in is, is quite... Oh, that's a bummer, dude. These big dudes. I thought they were... It's a bit of a bummer. I mean, if he said, like, Teddy Roosevelt, he was a man's man. That's fine, you know. That's true. Concerning. I have a daughter that's 14, and I want to know, is she going to wed a man that can still chop a tree down with an axe and kill a bear should it break into the house or change a tire on a flat, on a car, right? You Crazy. ever see a grown man that can't swing an axe or a sledgehammer? It's, it's fucking, it's, it's pitiful. It's it really is, I'm sorry, but like... Coding? Yeah, what about like different hustles now, like computer coding, where you technically make more money, but you're physically weaker? Why isn't there time for both? You're telling me this guy spends 20 hours a day at the computer screen, and then he sleeps for four? No, he does not. Stop this nonsense. Cash App <laughs> is, in my opinion, the world's strongest app. Beyond being an excellent peer-to-peer -peer money sending service, you can also use it to buy, sell. Hot take. I agree. As a man, why are you not swinging an axe? I mean, dude, look, I fucking, I swing, all right? I work out, but then I get my fucking computer on. I love doing computer shit, okay? But let me tell you, while Andrew's doing a fucking ad break, let me tell you my own personal ad break, okay? If you as a man want to get fucking strong, okay? If you as a man want to get strong, I already ran the top of the hour at break. Go to ideology.shop. Get your fucking himbo fitness on, okay? Good workout starts with a good workout gear. This will make you the coolest cat in the gym. And send Bitcoin instantly. But it gets even better. If you go to the App Store or the Google Play Store right now and download Cash App, you can use code CHANNEL5 for a free 15 bucks if you're a new user. Terms apply. Cash Clothes are not oversized, no. Who's the world's strongest man right now? His name's Tom Stoltman. Tom Stoltman. Stoltman. He weighs in at about 417 pounds. He has oh a big my brother, God. Tom, who you might have met. Your little brother is currently the strongest man in the world. <laughs> yeah, my little brother is stronger than me. The kind of inspiring thing, I think, with Tom is he grew up with autism as well. So, um, you know, he's gone through all that adversity. He's kind of putting autism awareness on the map, you know, and you know it kind of breaks the stigma, breaks the stereotypes for people with autism. So I think um, I think we all look up to Tom, not just because he's taller than us, but because of what he's done yeah. and, and achieved. That's the weakest autist right there. That's right. The weakest autist man, autistic man. The weakest, but the strongest out of other men. That's how it is. You know, with, with that kind of, you know, that adversity. But there's all walks of life here. That's the amazing thing. Crikey, 
you see that fellow with the beard you were talking to earlier who seemed to have a, had a kind of slow drawl about him? Yeah. He's actually a mathematical physicist. Obviously, you need to be That's physically sick as strong, fuck. but you do need to be mentally strong as well. He's um, half the battle, he's telling yourself. <laughs> Someone in the chat said, bro, I love trains, but I'm weak. Why? Why are you still weak? Big dudes are always this sensitive in my experience. They're so cute. That yeah. You can do things that you can't, you know, that you wouldn't normally be able to do. I, I love to be able to test myself and try and do things that other people can't do. I actually went through a four month period where I had four steaks a day, four ribeye steaks a day, every day. What's your favorite food? Um, steak. I'd have it medium. I have rib, ribeye medium. When I fill it, I'd have that. So, and yeah, sirloin and rum would be somewhere between the two. Most places nice. like the man is strong. Nice. Because Fucking the nice. Most important from ladies, what they tell that men should be strong and they feel safer. I wish I. How can I become strong? <laughs> yes, it's possible. Everything is possible. <laughs> if you could lift any object, what object would it be? Does the world count as one? You can't lift up the world because you're on the world. Okay. It'd be kind of hard. A building. Any building in particular? Uh, the White House. That'd be a sick ass power lift. <laughs> I gotta say, being here is a bit nostalgic because the last time that I stood in front of the Anti California State Capitol was uh, three weeks after the uh, official announcement of the national lockdown for COVID-19. Hey, Hazen, I just wore your merch earlier today with my Tyler One jacket and can confirm my mom did call me handsome, but I got beaten up at the gym. 810 quality, though. 19. Everybody cough in my face. Do it. Somebody come cough in my face. <laughs> Yes. A lot of good memories right here in front of this California capital. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Andrew Callahan, and I have some great news for you. Starting on November 3rd, we're going to be going on a 45-city Channel 5 live tour to almost every major metropolitan area in this great nation. We're going to have a live Q&A. We're going to hire magicians and battle rappers to open each act via Craigslist. We're also going to screen never-before-seen scenes from our upcoming movie with A24 and HBO. Tickets are on sale right now. So if you want to buy tickets to Channel 5 Live, click the link in the description below. I think it's like channel5.news backslash live dash tour, something like that. You'll figure it out. Hope to see you guys there. An A24 Channel 5 movie that is going to be featured on HBO. It's fucking crazy. Love to see it. Love to fucking see it, dude. You guys still think you're going to have Andrew on leftovers this week? No, man. How the fuck am I going to do that? H how would I have Andrew on, on uh, leftovers when, you know, leftovers is filmed before uh, Ethan got banned? I should just have Andrew and everyone else on. I saw Saddam the other day, the other night, when I was out having burgles with some friends. But... Um, I should just have Andrew on the broadcast. Are you pronouns he, they, because you're not him? True. Have Ethan and Andrew on fear and that would be a podcast episode. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, there's a temporary stay. Um, 